Hey, yo, salute to all my subscribers. Special shout out to everybody else passing through. YouTube, what's good? So a short while ago, uh, TMZ posted on YouTube that um, rapper Mac Miller passed away due to an apparent overdose, allegedly, a uh, drug overdose. Um, now, I'm not a, a follower of Mac Miller's music, um, not because I don't think he makes good music, I just am not a follower of his music. I'm very selective in the music that I choose to consume. But pertaining to addiction, I have some legitimate questions. Um, these are genuine questions because I started thinking, you know, about addiction and, you know, how so many people still in 2018 are afflicted with addiction. And I started to wonder, um, and, and I really am interested in what you guys think, is there a certain point when the friends, the family, the loved ones of addicts who are afflicted with what is now being widely publicized as a disease, addiction, um, does the responsibility at a certain point fall to those family and friends, those loved ones? Um, because a lot of times what you see, especially in the public eye, is, you know, for people who are in the public eye, celebrities, entertainers, those people closest to them will cover it up or make it seem like it's not as bad as it is, or they'll ignore it, or they'll, they'll, they will allow it to continue. Now understand that, you know, as an adult, you're responsible for your choices, your decisions, um, and nobody can really stop you from doing something unless you yourself want to stop. And I also know that's one of the principles of, you know, addiction, you know, if, if, if you know, you want to stop, the first step is you wanting it, you know, nobody can force you um, you have to be ready and willing to put in the work to overcome that. But with that being the case, you know, it, it, this isn't about placing blame on anyone or taking responsibility away from anyone who, who should bear the responsibility because no one should bear that responsibility more than self, the person. But the majority of, of addicts that I've interacted with over the years, and there have there hasn't been many, but there have been a few, um, they're not uh, in love with the idea that they're addicts. They're not, you know, happy about the fact that they have this affliction. And the majority of the people who I've interacted with who struggle with different types of addiction, be it drug addiction, be it gambling addiction, be it, you know, you know alcoholism, you know, what have you, the majority of the ones I've interacted with genuinely want to stop, just don't know how. And then they've gotten so deep into the alcohol bottle, the, the pill bottle, the cough syrup, you know, whatever your addiction is. The different stressors will cause that addiction to continue to fester. And then it becomes a, a comfort. They run they run back to it repeatedly, um, even though they know that it's, it's self-destructive. So my question genuinely is, is there a certain point that the people in your inner circle, your support system, the people you care about, the people who care about you, is there a point where they are supposed to assume that responsibility? Genuinely want to know. So let me know what you guys think. I don't pretend to know everything. I just know what I know. I'll see you on the next one. Rest in peace to Mac Miller. Peace and love.